It came from a flea market. A new segment where I take a look at the weird, wacky, and even sometimes wonderful movies that can only be found in the deepest, darkest recesses of a bin in a flea market. Let's start this thing off with the movie Rubber, starring an unknown actor named Robert, who is incidentally a tire. What are all these people waiting for? Well, I'm sure it's the same reason you are. They want to know why they should watch a movie about a living tire. Before I put in my two cents, here's a little disclaimer in the movie's own words. Ladies, gentlemen, the film you are about to see today is an homage to the no reason that most powerful element of style. Oh, you're still here? Well, prepare yourself for one of nature's greatest miracles, the birth of a new species. From the beginning, life wasn't easy for Robert the Tire. With no mother to guide him, he is completely alone to learn all of life's mysteries. This humble puddle is the location of Robert's first drink, and it may be his last for quite some time. For you see, humanity has ruined his ecosystem with its wanted ways and made it difficult for a young tire to receive even the basic necessities. Holy shit, he has powers! That changes everything! And at the end of a long first day, he stopped. Leaving his natural habitat is a tough decision, but one made of necessity, for Robert has only one goal, to understand humanity, so he can crush them! Maybe he is angry at being used and discarded by an uncaring society, but more likely it's... No reason. But make no mistake, this tire is no vengeance and there can be no escape. Especially if you leave your hotel room door open when taking the shower. Who honestly does that? Oh right, he doesn't have the arms, so he can't open doors. Duh.